Witches have been a staple of Halloween since... Uh, I, it's a good question, a long time. Boo. According to a 2013 survey, it's still the number one costume for adults. I mean, that was a, few, a couple years ago, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's still relevant. But every year, guaranteed, you're gonna see someone dressed up as one. When you, when you were growing up, did you ever dress as a witch for Halloween? Yes. Come! We fly! <laughs> but have you ever wondered why witches fly on broomsticks? Where, where did that image come from? It's just a bunch of hocus pocus! Well, thanks to the internet, I was able to figure that out. And the reason is awesome. The official pizza of Halloween. How does one become the official pizza of Halloween? Or the official anything of Halloween? Full disclosure, I spent the last couple days trying to figure out what to make a video about. I never came up with anything. But I did find an old project I was planning to post on Halloween last year th that, that I just never finished. Why do witches fly on broomsticks? It's a question I've been wondering for, God, I don't, like the last, not that, like 15 minutes. That's why the production quality is so much higher. I actually tried. That's not true, I, I try now. I just don't have time to do that. I have no idea why I never posted this. I lost interest? I don't know. And it says Halloween, like Tombstone Pizza. So yeah, why do witches fly on broomsticks? During the 15th century, Europe was way into hallucin hallucinogenic, hallucin hallucinogenic drugs. You know what, I'm gonna let Elijah Wood tell you. Apparently, they used, this is centuries ago, they used to make a kind of salve with hallucinogenic properties. And that could be applied many different ways, but they found that the t direct bloodstream would be, hang on everyone. Uh, <laughs> they would apply the salve to the end of a broomstick and apply it to their vaginas. <laughs> and it would make them hallucinate, hence, flying witches. Frodo is not making that up, that, that's true. I can't believe more people don't know this. Do you know the reason why witches fly on broomsticks? No, I don't. Would you like to be educated? Please tell me. You're lying. I'm dead serious. That's not true. Yes. So they're flying on broomsticks? That's stupid. I don't believe you. You read that on one website. That's not the truth. Elijah Wood will tell you right now. I'll show you the video. No, I have no idea. Is it because they sweep you off your feet with their magical abilities? Oh, that's, that's such an innocent theory. And then they would get high. To get high, oh, get it? Get high because yeah, they're exactly. flying. That's where it came from. Wow. Wow. And that kind of stuck, and that's why witches ride on broomsticks. Ah, that makes sense. Wow. I need to find me a witch. I feel like broomsticks wouldn't have been my first option. That's you you also don't have a witch. I mean, you could shove it up a, at the other end if you really wanted to. <laughs> this is really awkward. <laughs> Please don't post that. <laughs> Did you know there's a petition going around uh, that already has about 25,000 signatures to change Halloween from the 31st to the last Saturday of October? I do not know this. I don't, I don't know Saturday. that I think that's a bad idea. I don't think it's a terrible idea. It's always on Saturday. Yeah. It, the businesses benefit from it. Parents benefit from it. Schools, teachers benefit from it. Kids, Kids benefit, benefit from, from it. it. Halloween, like I'm sure it is for a lot of you, is one of my favorite days of the year. After revisiting that whole broomstick thing, I realized there's a lot about this holiday that I just don't know. So I went on a search to find more f***ed up Halloween facts. I didn't find anything. After that last one, just nothing is shocking anymore. But since you're here, let's talk about an urban legend that while growing up, I was genuinely afraid of. I, it still keeps me on my toes. When you were a kid and you went trick or treating, um, did your parents like always have to check the candy before no. you ate it? No. They just reminded us not to eat the open ones. And to this day, I do not eat the open open ones. That's a good or, policy. But like, as I got older, more and more people started giving out weird, weird stuff. Like goldfish bags. Poison Halloween candy, razor blades, needles. Like I said, it's just an urban legend. There is no evidence of strangers ever poisoning kids with Halloween candy. 
Family members, is that's a different story. Back in the 70s, a kid from Detroit found his uncle's heroin and ate it. He died. Then his family sprinkled the drugs over his Halloween candy so that the uncle wouldn't get in trouble. A few years later, a guy in Houston handed out pixie sticks laced with cyanide, including to his own kids. Luckily, most of them didn't eat them because pixie sticks are garbage, but his son did and died. He did this so that he could collect life insurance off his kids. He, he was executed for that. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is kids, you should be afraid of your parents. Happy Halloween. Were you a pillowcase man or a was pumpkin bucket man? I was, well, when I was... Initially pumpkin bucket man. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. You, you have to you have grow into the, the pillowcase. Uh, yeah. And then it became a mission to hit every house in the neighborhood.